Young people are not drinking alcohol, so there has been a in November called Sake Viva. Very interesting name. Then I think over time, this problem will iron itself out. But I think, again, this is just a symptom to a greater problem. I think, Konbanwa minasan, kyo desu. So we have an interesting dilemma today. In Japan, young people are not drinking alcohol. So there has been a significant reduction in tax revenue from liquor. Apparently the Japanese youth are not interested in getting drunk anymore. So sensing a crisis, the national tax agency have tried to come up with a contest to basically encourage people to start drinking and buying liquor again, called Sake Viva. Very interesting name. So they're basically encouraging people from 20 to 39 around that age group to come with ideas to basically again, get people to start buying alcohol, which includes sake, shochu, whiskey, beer, every kind of alcohol. Some people are criticizing it for encouraging unhealthy habits. Other people are kind of praising it because it's very unusual ideas uh, that hasn't, I guess, been tried out before. And according to the National Tax Agency, the amount of alcohol consumed dropped from 100 liters per person to 75 liters per person from 1995 to 2020, causing the liquor tax to shrink. In 1980, the national tax revenue equated for 5% of all tax revenue, but then dropped to 2% in 2020. And the National Tax Agency is basically blaming this problem on the fact that Japanese are not having kids. There's an older population and because of the current pandemic or the past pandemic that happened, it kind of changed the lifestyles of many people. So not a lot of people are going out to drink. The World Bank estimates that nearly one third of the Japanese population or 29% is 65 years or older, which is a very high for Japan. It's the highest aging country in the world. And some are criticizing the government saying that what they're doing is wrong because they're basically trying to promote alcoholism so they can get more money from the people. And overall, it's a very interesting case. Here's my thoughts. Like I've said in countless videos, uh, talking about Japanese culture or, you know, just giving my thoughts on current things or issues that may be happening in Japan. The family unit is the most important thing for any society. You take away marriages, you take away children, it affects everything. It affects government, it affects the economy, it affects the culture, it affects entertainment. Families are the cornerstone of any society. And in a society where you can't have families or there's a lot of hurdles uh, in place to even start one, you're gonna start seeing a lot of problems rise up. And this I believe is one of them. Now me personally, I'm not a big drinker. I seldomly drink. Um, I'm not really a big fan of going out, getting drunk and partying. That's not my thing. Because I know with Japanese work culture, it's very often that workers will go out to get drunk you know, as a part of the culture. And I mean, what if you don't like to drink? I mean, you're kind of forced socially to drink. So in some ways I do see this as a win. However, the root of the problem is what I'm more concerned about because it's not like naturally people just stop drinking alcohol. It's really because the lack of families and older population who probably can't afford to drink because of health issues or could be finances too, but of course, as an older person, you don't wanna be constantly drinking alcohol to ruin your system. And with what happened in 2020 with this pandemic and this virus, at least in America, it actually made people drink a lot more. There's a lot of reports in America that in 2020, alcohol sales jumped through the roof because now people have to face their families. They can't just go to work and hide from their families at work. And domestic abuse actually increased too because instead of, again, going to work to dodge your problems, you have to face your problems face to face in the house which caused a lot of people to go out and buy alcohol or some people had nothing else to do but party, so they would buy a lot of alcohol. So in America, it was kind of an opposite effect that a lot of drinking has increased in America. But I think that's because in America, we still have a healthy amount of young people. But in Japan, it makes sense because there's not much young people compared to the older generation. So to me, this is just a symptom of an inner issue that Japan needs to iron out if she wants to solve this issue. I think like most things that is affecting Japan's economy, they need to find a way to start promoting families and healthy households again. Um, I believe once Japan gets that in place, every other problem that is stemming from that will eventually solve within itself. But ultimately, alcoholism of people not buying alcohol is just a symptom of the deterioration of Japanese culture as far as the family is concerned. So to me, if there's a culture shift in which Japan changes parts of her culture to allow families to happen, to allow young people to want to get married and have kids, 
then I think over time, this problem will iron itself out. But I think, again, this is just a symptom to a greater problem. I think if you fix the family of Japan, you will fix the country, the economics, the culture, everything else. But uh, to me, I'm not shocked, but it is interesting. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So if you guys like the video, please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Also hit that bell as well to get notified whenever we post a video. Hanto, arigatou gozaimasu, minna. Kiyotsukete. Jane.